Welcome back students. Welcome back. So we have another activity 5.A. Adjust the volume of speaker using potentiometer. This is a speaker which will produce sound and this is controller you know. This is output device. This is controller. This is potentiometer or variable resistor. This is the input device. Based on the value we read from this potentiometer, the speaker will produce the sound. Okay. So first thing I will drag and drop the devices okay so i'll go for piezo speaker the speaker okay so i'll put here piezo speaker and we need mcu mcu board microcontroller unit okay we'll write the program here okay then potentiometer variable resistor okay this is the potentiometer okay so i'll write here potentiometer potentiometer okay now this one go to specification you can see this is analog device okay value will be from 0 to 255 so what i will do i'll connect this to analog device okay so this one i'll connect to analog port so a0 port okay what about this one piso speaker it uh, is digital okay zero or low zero or off on zero or low equal to off on or high equal to one okay so this one digital so i'll go here digital sorry should be iot custom cable d0 d0 okay now i will write the function okay coding program go here programs new uh, here piezo speaker with potentiometer the name should be meaningful that's why potential no problem if you don't give name also no issue but still i'm giving that all now mp python sorry blink python blink python create now main dot py inside this okay now header file imported gpi one time important now we have to mention the input and output so def main first one pin mode of zero comma out okay input is pin mode of a1 comma let me see the code again let me one okay does this they put potentiometer zero comma in one comma out okay yes this okay they connected this to d1 okay so base as per their coding i will try otherwise no something they will you'll be using this so here d0 sorry coyote custom cable here to a1 what about this pin they connected to analog port okay so that's okay a0 now we go here output is one this one input is let me try a0 if it's not working go for zero k0 comma in let's try let's try okay now I want to read the value of potentiometer. Okay, so it's analog connected. Okay, so and we want to get the value into a variable because based on the value we get read from the analog uh, device like a potentiometer, the speaker will rotate based on that value. Okay, so here I'll put uh, what is the variable they give? I can give same or we can give different. This time I'm referring the same. Okay, p value. Okay, because sometimes you know, some people will check the coding only, they will not check the video. That's why. Okay, so p value equal to analog p value equal to analog read of pin number 0. Okay, I can only make it a 0. Okay, so a 0. Equal to okay, p value analog read of a0. Okay, I'm reading the value of potentiometer into variable p value. So here only one equal to because I am assigning, but if you are comparing, you need two equal to here only one equal to because I am reading the value of a0. a0 we connected to potentiometer into a variable p value. Now we want to write the value into speaker. Okay, digital sorry only here digital write of 
वन कॉमा पी सॉरी पी वैल्यू नाउ डिले ऑफ थाउजेंड ओके रनिंग ऑन नोट ओके नाउ I have declared one this device connected to piece of speaker connected to MC one as output. The device connected to A zero is input. Now read the analog read of A zero means reading the value of potentiometer is analog device. That's why continuous value is one two three maximum two five five because it is given here value zero to two five five and that value I'll store into a variable name p value. After that I will Turn on the piece of speaker. The value of the speaker should be p value. That means digital write. Yani I am to write a value into pin number one. What is the value on write p value? Whatever we read from the piece potentiometer, that value will be p value. So what I will do? I will uh, press the Alt key. Then I will rotate the potentiometer. No sound. Okay. I will print the value. Let's I'll stop this and I will print the value print of p value. Let's see it's working or not. It's one seventy seven. Let's see. Hmm. Digital write of one comma p value, but still the p value is not uh, that uh, affecting that person. Okay. So what I will do is. Uh, okay, let me check the code. Here, same thing, but only thing is they made output as sorry input as zero. Instead of a zero, they put zero. Let's see any difference when you make that zero. Changing. So what I will do? We'll go for piso speaker. Uh, it's okay. Zero in pin mode. Zero out. One out. Zero analog right. Okay. So shall we try this digital right? Let me check here. Okay, we write uh, digital right. Okay. So I'll stop this. I will write analog right. What's the issue? I'll tell you. Analog right. Now let's see. Running now. I'll go here. Press the Alt key. Still the bus speaker is not producing any sound. Analog right of one comma p value. It's okay. One is output. Zero is in. Still I will do one thing. Here make it a zero. A zero. And again a zero. P value could analog right of a zero. Print of p value printed okay. Analog rate of one comma p value, one comma p value. So okay, everything is correct. But let me see what is the problem. Zero comma in, one comma out. Okay, zero comma in. Let's try again. Oh, now it's okay. See, when you keep the potentiometer low, it will be. Sound okay. Now, what was the issue? So here we have to stop that. Okay. Um, one comma out. Yani first pin, digital pin is output device. Okay. Input is A zero in S. P value is analog rate of A zero. I am reading the value of uh, input value of potentiometer is connected to A zero means analog analog rate of A zero. Print that value. Then Analog right of one comma p value. Why I am using analog right is because this sensor is giving not a high or low. They are giving the value like a one two three maximum two five five. So that's why we won't write analog value to the speaker. That's why analog right and delay. Okay, that is the first activity. Now what I will do? I will make this uh, zero. Otherwise, it will keep on uh, producing sound. Okay, I'll make this 
zero. Next I This is that uh, piso bisa buzzer with uh, piso speaker with uh, potential meter. Okay, so answer five PKT five eight. It is done. Now next is five B. What is five B? RGB. So five A and now I will close. Close this one. 5B now, okay. Now this is again 5A. Close this. Go for 5B. Oh, now only 5B can. Okay. Again, guest account change to my son's name. Okay, just put it in. Put here. Okay. Done. Okay. Now next is 5D. Now what I have is an RGB LED. Okay, so this LED, there is no separate red, green, blue LED. I have one LED with all three colors. Okay, A0, A1, A2. A0, red, green is A1, A2 is blue. Okay, now the code. So here before that in the MCU also we have three pins. No, D0, D1, D2 I connected three pins. Okay, then all the three pins, LED is output, right? So all three pins are output. Now what I am doing is analog, right? First I will turn on the red color that's why 0 comma 1023 here the LED has values 0 to 1023 okay so when you are whenever you want to turn on the LED you should write you should uh, give the value 1023 whenever you want to turn the LED off make it 0 so here first uh, three conditions three statements tell you that I am turning on red LED green and blue off again second one I am turning on green LED only red and blue off Again, third one, red, green, on, off. Only blue is on. Okay. So, I am going to do this. Uh, check this. I am going to add the LED. LED. RGB LED. I will add. Okay. And I will type here. RGB LED. LED. Now, what is that? MCU or SBC? Let me check here. MC only. MCU board. So I will connect uh, this LED using IoT custom cable to this one. I can connect uh, A0, A1, A2, no issue, but where what they have connected will be the same. Okay. Then digital, you can connect analog, it's no issue. Okay. So here, this one, A1 also. Okay, we'll look at D1. Then we have. It to it should be like a A zero done now A one like this okay now A two no it's okay D two so D zero D one D two red green blue okay now go for the program programming new R D B L E D here it should be blink python create main dot pi okay now you have to make uh, which pins are output 0 1 2 right 0 dot c okay so here 0 1 2 right 0 is output, 1 also output, 2 also output. Okay. Now it is analog device, right? So we have to see when I go for here, go for the specification. I can see analog, right? You should use analog, right? What is the value? 0 to 1023. Okay. A0 is red, A1 is green, A2 is blue. So if it is on, means if it is blinking, means 1023 off means 0 so first I need to make the red color on so I will write here 
analog analog right of a zero comma one zero two three. Okay. They also what they write uh, zero or a zero. They write zero. Okay. So here also if you want zero, if you are giving zero also no issue. A zero means here if you give a zero, here also a zero. Yes, I put here zero. Okay, no problem. Now after that uh, remaining, this is red the LED on. Now remaining two should be off. So zero you should give. So this should be after. That uh, red, green, RGB is connected to pin number one. Uh, RGB is connected to pin number two, right? I put A zero, A one, A two. Then they are zero. Only red is on. Remaining two are off. Okay. After that, delay thousand small letter. Okay. Delay. Thousand millisecond. After that, I want to turn on green LED. So what I will do? Copy here. Only green will be one zero two three. So green is second one one zero two three. After that, I want to turn on only blue. Remaining red and green should be zero. So one zero two three. Okay, now run this. First red, then blue, then green. Okay, red, green, blue, blue. Okay, that's done. So activity five A and five B done. So save as answer five. Okay, this one, this video is now saved as. Let me stop this one. I just keep on. Okay. Now this video will be five a and five b. Okay. 